I'll see, man. I'll be feeling like one of them ball playing like bird or magic or something. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man. What's up, guys? Trilogy here. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing another tier list. You've seen the heading. This is going to be for Apple TV's Severance. In my opinion, this is one of Apple TV's strongest entries in their content streaming app. Um, they're still not on the level of some of the other streamers, but they are making progress. You know, they might be five in the top five. Um, I'd probably still say HBO Max is better, Hulu is better, Netflix is better. Um, but I can't think of anything else. Um, Discovery Plus has a couple things, but I might put Apple TV above them as far as streaming goes. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a tier list before we get into it. I'm Trilogy. I do movies, gaming, manga, all kinds of content on my channel. I have a curated playlist. You should definitely check that out. And with that said, let's jump into the tier list. So starting off, um, of course, we've got our characters. I'm not going to do all of these probably, but just our main cast from Severance. So the first one on here, it looks like we have out of work Mark. And this Mark is the only character who has an any and an Audi. So like he has a work self and an out of work self. If you're not familiar with the show, you should probably watch it before watching this video. But Severance is about um, um, basically a company where whenever you go in, you sever your mind state. So for the person on the outside, so say you are clocking into work right now at eight o'clock. As soon as you realize it, it'll be five o'clock when you get off or 501 and you're walking out of the building. Meanwhile, those eight hour, nine hours are controlled by your work self who does all the work and basically lives at work because they don't get to go out. But it's all you. You're like split into two personalities. Um, so, yeah, that's how it works. Just a brief overview. And this one right here is Mark's out of work self. And for him, I wasn't a big fan of Out of Work Mark. He was all right. He wasn't a bad character. He just wasn't interesting as compared to some of the other characters, despite him being the main character and our perspective for the show was being filtered through him. I just didn't really like Out of Work Mark too much. So I think I'm gonna put him in B tier. Like I said, not a horrible character, but he didn't do too much. Honestly, I might even go C tier, honestly. Like I know he lost his wife. That's why he signed up for the job. He met his old best friend, Petey, but I just feel like he didn't do a lot. He was more of a passive character in the show. I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I'm going to put him on B tier. Up next, we have Heli, which was the newest hire in um, basically the company. I forget the name of the company, um, but um, she basically is the replacement for Petey, who got fired or quit, basically. Um, and I like Heli a lot. Like, she is very interesting. Um, because she just kind of is the drama of the show. Like, she doesn't want to work there. She tries to escape. She tries to kill herself. She tries to maim herself. And this, the plot twist at the very end in the final episode, if you haven't watched it, I, you should probably watch that. But the fact that she's, like, the founder's daughter and she's, like, a really important person is pretty crazy. Um, so I really like her. I really don't have any complaints about her, like... I don't think she's a perfect character, which is what the S tier is reserved for. So I'm going to put her in very high A tier. Like, I really enjoy every scene with her. She's very interesting. Um, and she just brings the comedy and the drama at the same time, all in one character on the show. Um, up next, um, we have the boss. She's all right. I'm not going to speak too much on her because she's not really a super main character. She doesn't do a lot, but I she is unsevered, which is cool because... You know, she has two different personalities. So, um, she only has one personality, I'm sorry. So she's cool because she goes to work, but she's unsevered. So she does, she sees Mark inside work and outside work. And she has like two different accents. And I think that adds a little, a little bit of a layer to her character. So I'm gonna throw her in C tier. Um, yeah, um, we have the black guy. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have got that book, that book that we were all able to read. And so, I mean, He's probably C tier too, honestly. He doesn't really do too much. He's more of like an enforcer type character, but he doesn't do too much at all. Um, now we have the therapist character. I forget her name, but I think she was really interesting, especially the plot twist at the end where it turns out that she's actually Mark's wife. And like, what's going on here? Like, 
Like, I, honestly, it doesn't make too much sense to me, but hopefully they elaborate in season two because his wife supposedly died. She didn't go missing, so I don't know, but I really do like her interactions. Um, she wasn't as good as Heli, but I'm going to put her in B tier. This is going to be our first B tier edition. Um, oh, yeah. I like him. I forget his name, but um, he's pretty good, too. Um, he's older. He was really the explorer of the group. I liked his curiosity on the other department. And through him, we got to experience more of what was going on in the company. Um, but I don't think I liked him as much as her. So I'm going to put him in B tier also. Uh, PD, I don't really have too much feelings about PD. Like, he did the reintegration and then he died. But he was the catalyst for the whole show. Without PD, we really wouldn't have anything that happened throughout the show. Uh, let's see. Not as important. We're going to go D tier. Uh, the sister, she was all right. She was a nice little support system for out of work Mark. I probably liked her more. Um, the brother-in-law, he was good. He wrote the book, which also was another catalyst in the show. We wouldn't have a lot of stuff without him. Um, she is hilarious, but she doesn't have enough scenes to be A tier, so I'm gonna put her in the bottom of B tier. Um, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, well, let's go. Let's go C tier for her. They really made this guy be super scary, but ultimately he didn't do too much. Like, I feel like he was all bark, no bite, but the way they built him up was still really interesting. So I'm gonna probably put him, let's rearrange this real quick. Uh, let's put her down here. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna leave it. We have Workmark, which Workmark is an S tier character. So many layers to him. That guy, this guy is amazing. I really enjoyed seeing things through his perspective and how he tried to keep the department together, basically. Um, finally, <clears throat> we have the comedic relief of the whole show. I like how dedicated he was to his work. Like, he definitely made the show. He isn't as good as Heli or Workmark, but he still carries his own in the show. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in A tier. And that's it, guys. This is my severance work tier. Um, let me make sure I don't wanna change anything. Yeah, I do feel like this is an outlier opinion for out of work Mark, him being in C tier. I feel like most people would probably put him A tier or B tier, probably still not S tier. But I just didn't really mess with him. But work mark, I really did mess with, which is crazy. Good acting for um, Adam Scott. Is that his name? I forget actor names so often. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is my severance tier list. If you want to see more content like this, definitely recommend you subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I love the hustle, man. I be feeling like one of them ball playing, like bird magic or something. But if I leave... Fans still gonna love me, man?